When I fell in love with soccer, I was, I was in rec soccer at Broomfield. I just got super competitive and that's when I realized that like soccer allowed me to be very competitive and I enjoyed the way that I felt with it and that was also the age that I had big goals to come play college so it just kind of all started at age 10. Uh, high school was awesome for me I feel like it just really showed me discipline and having like to play like starting at freshman year and having older players like to look up to and kind of guide me um, helped me at high school and then obviously getting to my senior year finally filling my role there. Um, I just had really big goals for myself and I worked extremely hard and for senior year I feel like that all that kind of came together. I felt like I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay close to home so I was like thinking about Utah and I really liked how they played when I was coming out of high school or when I committed which was sophomore or freshman sophomore year. Um, they just were hard workers so I was like oh that's the perfect place for me. Then I tore my ACL and that kind of just made me wake up and see like my time is short and I want to enjoy where I'm at. I want to, I have big goals too, like I want to play after college. So it's like my decision was I want to come back home. When I tore my ACL, that was really hard. I had, I took, I took a day, was sad about it. Then, you know, knew I had a lot of work ahead of me. So did my, my pre uh, surgery workouts to make sure that I was fit and ready for surgery. Then got surgery, then took about in two weeks to allow myself to feel what I was feeling, the emotions of knowing that I have a long recovery ahead of me because I feel like that's very important to acknowledge that and then from there on out I dedicated literally every day to my rehab. Good, Gray! One of my mottos I put on my phone was win the day um, because it was like I just have to win that day and then move on to the next day and that was kind of how it was for a while and then obviously towards the end it was a bit hard because I just wanted to be back out there and I just had to be patient so Learned a lot of patience through this process, but yeah, just take it day by day, winning the day, and that's kind of what got me through here. Obviously, I opened up my my options, but I deep down wanted to come back home, and I knew that I was going to be able to be successful here under the coaching staff and the players here. Like the coaching staff, they obviously like they wanted me back, which was good, and having my family and friends be able to come and support me every like every game is awesome. Um, and just having them so close allows me to, I feel like, really truly be myself. And so, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, I've always been a striker, um, got moved to outside back, and I think, like, I'm a very competitive person. I hate to lose. So for playing defense, it makes sense because I'm going to try and sacrifice myself to not get scored on. So, like, for me, it's simple because that's just who I am. I do miss attacking um, just because I feel like I worked hard to try and be a great attacker, but. I think naturally I'm a better defender, so it's it's been good. I, I enjoy it here. It gives my dream to play at CU, so it's kind of cool to actually come and fulfill those dreams. Box off three, one, two, three! Yes.